Hello everyone, my name is Abalon and welcome to your channel. In this video we are going to look over top 10 best cozy and meditative games ever created. But before diving into the video, I really appreciate it if you click on the subscribe button and like the video. So let's dive to the video. Number 10 chance of cnr is a 2023 adventure video game developed by rundisk and published by focus entertainment players solve puzzles and mini games to translate fictional language players explore a structure inspired by the tower of babel which the titular cnr refers to full of people who speak fictional languages represented by a logographic writing system encountered languages must be translated using clues such as non-verbal communication used by other non-player characters, illustrated signs, or other contextual clues. The player is aided by a notebook that contains the list of graphemes the player has encountered up to that point, and they may type in a wall that assume is a meaning for grapheme, which is the displayed above the grapheme the next time they encounter it. Once the player encounters enough graphemes, the notebook offers a test to see if a player has correctly translated Graphene, by displaying drawings of nouns, verbs, or adjectives, which the player must match the correct grapheme to. If the player correctly matches all grapheme to meanings on the page, those grapheme will be considered solved, and their real English meaning will be displayed above them. If all graphemes from a sentence are solved, a full English translation is shown. As players progress higher through the tower, they encounter new languages that must be translated. Number 9. Poem, stylized as T-O-E-M, Photo Adventure, is a photography game developed and published by Swedish independent game studio Something We Made, it's the name of the studio. It was released in September 2021 for Windows, Nintendo Switch and PlayStation 5 and Xbox One and Xbox XS. In the game, the player assumes controls of a young photographer who must ascend a mountain to witness a phenomenon known as Toem. As the player character progresses, they will visit numerous Scandinavian towns and cities that are filled with NPCs who will ask the player for help. Gameplay primarily resolves around helping the locals by solving various puzzles. Using the player character's camera, players explore the game's world from top-down perspective, though it will shift to first person when the player is taking photos. Players earn stamps by helping NPCs and then can ride on the bus and progress to the next area. Area. Once they have like, a sufficient number of staff, the player character's outfits can also be customized. Number 8. Melatonin This debut from indie studio Half Asleep Half Asleep is named for the brain hormone that helps you sleep starting to see the pattern here. <laughs> it's a pretty pastel rhythm game where you enter an insomniac puzzling dreams to press or hold buttons in time with a beat, but the dreams are not really a story so much as a loose structure for a series of minigames. Because for a game about relaxation and sleep, melatonin really requires you to be wide awake. In the melatonin universe, one night equaled one level, with each offering up a range of dream challenges to pass and a mini boss battle that's you know mash up of dream every dream starts with a tutorial describing your task and allowing you to play without scoring the practice comes with a ticker which tells you what to press and when and a metronome that keeps beat on top of the swing of things we felt an easier starter round which have helped us grasp things earlier when you hit the button the game gives immediate feedback back in the form of early perfect or late supers or a sweet droplet emoji if you miss it all together. There is a steep learning curve, but that means the perfects feel well deserved. This game would come naturally to those with music training or who aced with heaven. For everyone else it can be quite tricky. Number 7. Book of Travels Book of Travels is a role-playing video game under development by Might and Delight. Unlike MMORPGs, Book of Travels limits the number of players 
on each server to create memorable meetings with players. The early access version was released for Windows, Mac and Linux on October 11, 2021. Book of Travels is described as an, a social role-playing experience that doesn't hold your hand, unlike many RPG. Book of Travels has no overarching goals, beginnings or ends and pushes the players to create their own journey. Unlike many RPGs, the game focuses on role-playing exploration and personality rather than stats and numbers. Players begin their journey in the fantasy world called Braided Shore. Players create characters with various aspects such as star sign, backstory, and personality traits. From the outset, players set off to explore the land of their own will or find people to travel with. Players are able to gather resources, craft items, and learn special abilities with some aspects of combat. Player to player interaction is entirely non-text verbal relying on a limited set of emotes that are gained through the player experience. The limitations on emotes is aimed at creating a richer, friendlier experience for players. The main source of traversing Book of Travels is by walking running through the game. However, there are alternative ways of travel including manually power rail cars. Players will be able to play instruments together and collect new Tune. Number 6. A Short Hike a Short Hike is an adventure video game by Canadian indie game designer Adam Robinson Yu. It is an open world exploration game in which the player is, is tasked with reaching the summit of mountain to get cell phone reception. The game was released for Microsoft Windows, macOS and Linux in July 2019 and for Nintendo Switch in 2020 and for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One for November 2021. A Short Hike received positive reviews from the characters who widely praised its relaxing gameplay, freedom of explorations and flying mechanic. While some criticized the short length of the handling of some story elements, it won it won the Seumus McNally Grand Prize at 2020 Independent Game Festival. The player has the ability to jog, climb, swim and glide through an open world park while controlling a clair, a dark blue anthropomorphic bear. To reach the peak, the player must find or purchase golden feathers that increases stamina, afford extra jumps, and the ability to climb rock faces. According to the sign on Hawk Peak Trail, the peak can be reached with as few as 7 golden feathers. Once the player reaches the peak, thus completion the main story, they are free to explore the park and complete side activities as they please. In addition to the main goal, the island is populated with other animals who offer side quests and activities including fishing, finding lost item, and playing a volleyball-like minigame called Bechistic Ball. Rewards for these activities include items which improve the player's ability to explore the park such as running shoes or compass. The player can also collect shells, sticks, coins, and other items to help complete these side quests. The game has an adaptive soundtrack that changes based on the world events such as you know, weather or player actions such as flying. It also features a dynamic camera created with Unity Tool Cinemachine. Number 5. Dorf Romantic is a city building puzzle video game developed and published by Tukana Interactive. In the game, players need to place an hexagonal tiles of various biomes to create an idyllic landscape. The game was released in March 2021 for Windows via Early Access and its full release on April 28. 2022. A version for Nintendo Switch has released on September 29, 2022. The game involves placing hexagonal tiles that contain a combination of one or more of the following land uses, forest, barren, village, water, railroad, and field with one island using along each side. The game begins with a barren tile and four new but random tiles to be placed. New tiles can be rotated before placing and must touch at least 
placed one side to an existing tile. Once placed, the tile cannot be moved. Both water and railroad tiles have to connect to already placed water or railroad if the tile is placed next to an existing water or railroad tile, limiting the possible orientation and adding further complexity to the game. Points are awarded for connecting the same land uses, special quests, and involve creating an area of the same land, use of a certain size, for example, 10 fields and closing off an area that land use, for example, closing the forest so no new forest can be attach attached. Additional tiles are awarded for a completing quest closing areas and for matching every side of the tile to the same land uses the surrounding tiles. The game ends when the players run out of tiles. <laughs> nice. The game number four, Beacon Pines. Beacon Pines is a 2022 narrative adventure indie video game developed by Hiding Spot Games and published by Fellow Traveler. The game was released on September 22, 2022 for Microsoft Windows, Nintendo Switch and Xbox One via Game Pass. Narrated by Kristen Mize and set in the titular art town, a storybook based exploration game follows Luca uncovering the mysterious secrets of his hometown alongside his friends Rolo and Beck. Luca Van Horn is a 12 year old dear boy who lives in a Beacon Pines with his grandmother after his father passed away when he was six and his mother mysteriously disappeared. He hangs out with his best friend Rolo Cutter a leaguer while awaiting the town's upcoming harvest festival. The pair stumble onto some strange happenings at the abandoned warehouse in the woods near their treehouse. Along with the new girl in the town, Beck Moidville, the trio seeks to unreveal, unravel the mysteries of what exactly is going on there around. The game number three, Unpacking. Unpacking is a puzzle video game developed by Witch Beam and published by Humble Bundle for Microsoft Windows, Mac OS, iOS, Android, Linux, and Nintendo Switch, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PlayStation 5. The game received positive reviews and won several awards, including two BAFTA Game Awards and DICE Award for Outstanding Achievement for an Independent Game. The Game of the Year by Eurogamer. The game is divided into a stage named by the years in which they take place. 1997, 2004, 2007, 2010, 2012, 2013, 2015, and 2018. The gameplay in each stage comprises unpacking a female character's positions from boxes into a new dwelling, representing significant life events. The player is tasked with fitting each unpacked item into the living space, learning the protagonist's life story through her items and the places she lives. There are eight stages made up of total 35 rooms. The game number two, Stardew Valley. Nah, yeah, Stardew Valley. Stardew Valley is a farm life simulation game developed by Eric Brune or Concert, Concert Ape. Players take the role of the character who inherits their deceased de de grandfather's farm in a place known as Stardew Valley. The game was released for Windows in February 2016. Before being reported to other platforms, Stardew Valley is open ended, allowing the players to grow crops, raise livestock, fish, cook, mine, forge, and socialize with the town's people, including the ability to marry and have children. It allows up to four players to play online together. We, talk we talked exclusively about Stardew Valley in another episode, which the link is here in top. You can go and enjoy that show separately. But before we dive into the last one, I really appreciate it if you click the subscribe button and like the video and maybe we missed a game in the list and you think it should be. So I really enjoyed reading your comments and responding to. My name is Ebolan. Thank you for watching the video. Let's dive to the last one. The game number one, Journey.
Journey is an indie adventure game developed by that game company, published by Sony Computer Entertainment and directed by Jinova Chen. It was released for the PlayStation 3 via PlayStation Network in March 2012 and ported to PlayStation 4 in July 2015. It was later ported to Windows in June 2019 and iOS in August 2019. In Journey, the player controls a robbed figure in a vast desert, traveling towards a mountain in the distance. Other players on the same journey can be discovered and two players can meet and assist each other but they cannot communicate via speech or text and cannot see each other's name until after the game's credit. The only form of communication between the two is musical chim, which transforms dull pieces of cloth found throughout the levels into vibrant red, affecting the game world and allowing the player to progress through the levels. The developers thought to evoke in the player a sense of smallness and wonder and to forge an emotional connection between them and the anonymous players they meet along the way. The music composed by Austin Vittori dynamically responds to the player's actions, building a single theme to represent the game's emotional arc throughout the story. Reviewers of the game praised the visual and auditory art as well as the scene of companionship created by playing with a stranger, calling it a moving and emotional experience and have since listed it as one of the greatest video games of all time. Journey won several Game of the Year awards and received several other awards and nominations, including the Best Score Soundtrack for visual media and nomination for 2013 Grammy Awards. A retail collector's edition, including Journey, that game's company's two previous titles and additional media was released in August 2012.